and Trinity County law enforcement officials are hoping to raise awareness on jail issues for the November ballot. According to Sheriff Woody Wallace, the county's jail is not big enough to take in all the inmates they get. Now they've put out a petition looking into the possibility of building a new jail. KTRE's Terry White reports. The Trinity County Jail was built in the 1930s and over 90 years later is still standing unchanged and no longer meeting the needs of the county, according to Sheriff Woody Wallace. Wallace says hopefully a petition to conduct a study will change that. We're at the mercy of other jails right now as to where we can move inmates and how we can move them. Sheriff Wallace says the jail currently sees an average of 52 inmates per day, but can only house 16. The rest are sent to other counties. We currently got contract with four different counties, <clears throat> and that's not enough. Those counties being Grimes, San Jacinto, Houston, and Somerville, costing Trinity County eighty dollars to $100,000 a month. I don't think we're doing the public any favors by not letting them decide this. Wallace says a study showing how much it would cost to build and operate a new jail would help voters make an informed decision in a potential November bond election and hopefully stress the issue to commissioners. They ultimately have to decide to put it on the ballot in November and then people can vote then. Yes, I want a jail. No, I don't want a jail. Tyree White, KTRE. East Texas News 9. Sheriff Wallace says they'll be collecting signatures until Trinity County Commissioner's next meeting on June 11th, where the petition will be presented.